I am Anil Kumar. Here is an excellent question on probability, which we are going to answer with the help of tree diagram. The question is, draw a tree diagram to show results of tossing a coin three times. What is the probability of getting two heads? What is the probability of getting at least two heads? Part C is, what is the probability of getting at the most two heads? Now these three terms confuse students many times and therefore I am taking them together. Let us try to understand them. So first let me draw a tree diagram of tossing three coins. So let's say in the first toss we could get either a tail or we could get a head right. So let me write this as tail or head. So this is our first toss. Now again, we could get either a tail or a head, tail or a head, right? So we are also assuming that both are fair coins. That is to say that the probability of getting tail or head is 50-50, right? Now in the third toss, we may get tail or a head. Let me write down. Here also we may get tail or a head. So in all the cases we might get tail or a head since the probability is equally likely, right? So we could use both these terms equally likely and 50-50. Okay, so that becomes the scenario. Now what is the result of three tosses? So what you note here is that if you go with the first branch, we get all tails. So let me rewrite this as tails, tails and tails. Now here we have combination of tail, tail and head. Then the next branch is tail, head. Then we could get from tail, head, we could get either tails or we could get head. Now if the first toss results into head, in that case, the second could be tail and then with that we could have tail or we could have head. In the last case, if head is what we get first, it could be followed by another head after which we could get either a tail or a head. So these are all the possible outcomes, right? So, so here we have all possible outcomes. So we say number of possible outcomes. Is how many? Is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Correct. So that is the denominator for our probability. But now we'll take these cases one by one. What is the probability of getting two heads? That means exactly two heads what is the probability of getting at least two heads? It means one or two heads, right? So that means the first question, it means what? It means exactly two heads. Let me write H for heads. What is the probability of getting at least two heads? Means either we get two heads or we get three heads, right? So least at least two heads doesn't make sense to you what is the probability of getting at the most two heads that means we are looking for one head or two heads so these are three different types now to answer it's a good idea to just make a table for heads so let us say we want to find how many heads right so heads could be either no head or we get one head or we get two heads or we get three heads correct so let's count these numbers for no heads at all I'm sorry the last one was all heads I wrote T here this is all heads right head head and head is all heads right so for no heads 
it is the last one so we get one combination which is all heads right this one now for just one head how many combinations do we have we have one two and one three so there are three combinations with just one head how about with two heads so we have this with two heads then we have this with two heads and again one more so there are three with two heads and I mean zero heads was this one sorry for that and all three were this one okay so in all we have eight combinations total outcomes is that clear now that becomes simple enough for us to answer the equations so first one here is probability of getting exactly two heads so let me write two heads right is how much so two heads will get there are only three ways so favorable outcomes is three and total possible are eight so we get three out of eight now for part b probability for getting at least two heads means either we get two heads or we get three heads so two or three so we have to combine these two cases so three plus one is four right so we get four out of total of eight so for this we combine these two do you see that part two or three now the last one is add the most two heads that means we are looking for just one head or we are looking for two heads so that is add the most two heads so now we are looking for one or two so that means we are looking for the combination which is let me use a different ink one or two which is this combination so how many are there three and three six so this answer is six out of eight perfect so purposely I'm writing this in this way but it could be always reduced to lower value so it is good idea so 4 over 8 should be written as half or 50 percent and 6 over 8 could be simplified and written as 3 over 4 that means 75 percent perfect so these are the answers for the given questions so I hope that is absolutely clear Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.